he texted me back exactly at 10.44 a.m. Sorry I missed your call, I'm doing well thinking about you. So I just said, you know, I'm just gonna leave him alone. I'll see him in a little bit, there's no need to worry. But she does worry. Something within me told me I need to try calling him. And then that's when the cell phone kept ringing. So I thought maybe, oh, he might be driving through those mountains. About an hour later, Jennifer tries again. No answer. And I still at that time believed that he was going to come home around 7 PM. So I waited it out. As soon as it became about 7.38, I knew something was wrong, because he never not calls me. Frantic, Jennifer calls Rico's mother. Should I call the police and file the missing persons report? And she's like, no, you have to wait two days to file a missing persons report. Let's just wait it out. When Rico felt like just being to himself, he would just kind of go off to the side and do whatever he had to do. So it wasn't something that really, like, petrified me. Jennifer repeatedly checks her phone for any missed messages from Rico hoping to find one that's come in since his most recent text earlier that day at 10.44 a.m. But there are none. That's the last contact I had with him.